Okay, so we put the new injectors in. Now we need to purge the system air. And to do this, we need to make sure the injection pump's got fuel. There's a little nut on the back here on this Ford. Uh, once you get that nut just loose, you only need to loosen it, don't need to take it off. We'll go through on the prime pump. Give this pumps, and sometimes it can take quite a while. Make sure that's loose enough back here. Looks like it's hard to see in there. Make sure that upper one is loose back here so you can see if fuel comes out. That way your fuel filters are full. You've got fuel all the way up to the injection pump. And then what you want to do, and don't do this part or any of these parts actually for newer diesels. This is an old diesel only. Because the newer ones you'll actually wreck the injection system. We're keeping all the injection lines, the injectors loose, and then we'll crank the motor until we see fuel come out or it sputters, whichever one happens first. As soon as that happens, we tighten them up and then try to give it a go and it should fire up, rough, run roughly for a bit and clear up. Had to replace this injector, and uh, I don't know if I knocked anything in, into this acorn. Since I'm not sure, I wanted to turn it over and make sure fuel squirts out a little bit, and uh, then secure it. All right, here we go. Start turning over. Whoa, 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 whoa! You got fuel. Okay, it's sprayed out. Now we'll take this line and attach it. All right. On well, inspection up here, we see fuel starting to come out a couple. So we can go ahead and tighten those up on the injectors. And give it another turnover and it should sputter and fire. Yep. So we're going to also press the cold weather button. I'm going to make sure it pops. Yeah, there it goes. It's free. I sprayed a little bit of ether in it. Should fire. We'll see. Ah! 